Fortunately, the biggest vulnerability in computer security is the people part. You've got the technology, you've got the processes involved, and you've got the people involved. On the technology side of things, uh, it's the easiest to secure. Um, once we start getting into the process by which that, those technologies are being utilized, then we really start running into some issues, and then obviously the people problem uh, is the biggest. That's the weakest link in the whole security chain is ultimately the human factor. You know, you got your hardware and your software, and then you've got us, wetware. And that's really the biggest issue. I mean, we have hundreds, if not thousands, of vulnerabilities but involved in the technology side of things. But those are really easier to address if you're just addressing the technology. That's a trick question because they cannot ensure anything. Um, that's the truth. Uh, there's, there's, all, there's so many layers involved in who's responsible for what when you talk about cloud computing. So what we can do for the most part is be resilient and become more resilient uh, in the way that we operate in the cloud, or for that matter, any, in any other way. But uh, resiliency is really about, first of all, getting over the fact that nothing can be completely protected. Uh, and once you kind of understand that, uh, then it's a matter of, okay, well, what, what are we doing to reduce the risk involved and what are we doing ultimately to reduce the potential impact of a, of a breach? And most of that has to do with how quickly they can identify that there's been a breach or a potential breach. Um, right now it's, you know, it's, it's pretty bad. It takes, I think the number that, you know, reports have said is something like 260 days before you realize that you've been breached. And that's usually not because you found out. It's usually because someone called you and said, oh, you've been breached, right? And like a bank or a credit card processor and so on. You know, I joke, and so there's a little sticker that says there is no cloud, it's just someone else's computer, and ultimately, if you're going to put your stuff on somebody else's computer, because the truth is, is for most people, they're not going to run their own data center anymore. They're not going to have, you know, that, that's not the most scalable way of doing business. It's not the smartest way of doing business. So um, if you're going to move to a cloud, to a cloud service provider, Ultimately, that's, that's what you're betting on, is that you, it's, it's, a, it's a trust business. Do you trust the people you're working with, especially when it comes to security? Uh, unfortunately, too often, fear, uncertainty, and doubt is what's used to sell security, when in reality, it's a trust business. It's not a fear business. So um, that's the biggest thing, is you know, do your diligence on whoever your cloud provider is. Ask as many questions as you can think of, ask questions you can think of, do your research, and if you're choosing the right provider, you're going to trust them to be handling security the best way they, they can.